I'm Charlie Dorkey. I came to Pathfinder way back, probably 1927, when I was six years old. And I continued up at Pathfinder up until 1938. Transportation was by train. You took the train up from Toronto and switched over at, at Huntsville and then came on up here. On the opposite shore, of, well, from the camp, there was a landing and you canoed over or paddled over or were brought over by boat uh, to the island. You would lash three canoes together, put planks on them, and unload the luggage and pull them over here. It's a, kind of a romantic experience. Trains still are. You, you would go down to the New York Central Station downtown, beautiful old station at that time, around six o'clock at night and uh, you get on a, uh, what they call the Pullman train, an overnight sleeper train. Of course, I'd never been on a sleeper before, and so it was really, that was sort of the, the miracle of the whole thing, you know. We caught a train going north, from Toronto up, up north, and went right through the park. Before you got to Cache Lake, you could go past Source Lake. There's nothing at Source Lake, just a wide spot in the track and if you, everybody get off and you kind of scramble down the hill. It was a pretty st steep hill, I don't know how it is there now. But uh, and then they had a little dock down at the lake and uh, had the boats and canoes and everything there to go over to camp. I think the, the real first memory was riding the train up to camp when I was only seven or eight. The train trip to camp was uh, just truly mayhem and fun and, and it lasted all night long. And then eventually, uh, of course, we arrived in Huntsville and the buses picked us up and took us to the car dock. And I remember thinking, um, okay, now I'm, I'm this far, where's the camp? And um, so it wasn't until we actually got around the point and could see the island that, uh, that I was pretty amazed that uh, that's where I was gonna spend the next month at least. Like everything has changed, but it hasn't changed. Matter of fact, almost everything looks the same, which is pretty remarkable in this day and age. It's a credit to the people that have run this camp over the past years that they've been able to maintain the integrity that Pathfinder was set up for. 